Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This video, uh, I wanted to show you a little bit of this project that I've been working on, and that would be a um, a enclosure or a box for a, in this case, a pool filter or um, pump and all that setup. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what uh, I went through to do this and you can kind of see the frame and you can kind of see the walls that I built on it just to kind of give you an idea because uh, I've actually talked to a few people since I've been making this and they're really interested in it and they may actually want me to build some more so to reach more people um, I wanted to uh, well I'm not trying to build these professionally or nothing I just want to help um, because I saw the interest in it and I wanted to share it with everybody else so they can do their own at home they're actually really easy I have absolutely no carpentry work here but I did decide to go with a little bit more complex and you can see here the um, the the planks on the side are actually lapped a little bit and I think that's what it's called I think it's called a uh, lapping for the side or slat slatted walls um, and you'll see them on houses uh, around sometimes and it's basically just a plank that's been overlapped and in this case I overlapped them about one inch um, on the top of each plank and I screwed them on um, just on the top and I I felt like that was enough Now you could have came back and maybe done it like a nail gun and um, just secured the bottom pieces and I did that on some of the uh, other ones but I didn't really think it needed it because they were really sturdy once I got them on there with the one screw so I just wanted to show you and right here on this on this part of the video is me showing you the um, the plank I actually used and this this wood is actually called western red cedar and it's really available uh, I found it at Lowe's and Home Depot either place uh, has it uh, there's probably other places that have it it's pretty common it's uh, really common in fence pickets and that's what I chose to use here it's uh, th these came in six foot uh, you probably can find it in eight foot if you needed to um, if you needed to build a bigger box but six foot worked for me and uh, they're only about they're two two fifty five a piece for the per plank so they're not really expensive compared to like a cedar board or something so and they were really thin which which really helped me keep the weight down on it um, but like I, like I was showing here the the planks themselves when you buy them like this for fence pickets they're not really they're not really a pretty uh, saw cut and stuff and they're not sanded or nothing from the um, from the mill but you can kind of flip them in while you're at the store and just kind of get an idea of about where you want to go um, or which boards you want to get because um, you can make it a heck of a lot easier on, you, on yourself but if you're not worried about the the up close look of it it's gonna look pretty if you take it and just put the boards on there it's gonna look great uh, it actually would have looked great but the guy that came to me that wanted me to build this um, actually uh, he's gonna he's got a small backyard and um, you know people are gonna be up close to it and stuff so and also it, it didn't take me long to put the walls up so I just went ahead and took the um, the rough off of it with just a orbital sander real quick it didn't take very long for that but you know I think it would look just fine with that uh, along that back wall was actually going to be against a fence and there was a bush covering half of this uh, this box here so I actually just went with a straight back and it looks good too the only downside to that is it's less weather resistant because they're um, the boards themselves are kind of uh, they're a little bit they're a little bit uh, twisted and stuff and there was a little bit of a lapping but in this part I actually show you um, the gate I did I actually went with a full size gate all the way up to the lid that means when you can open the when you open the lid up you can actually step inside the box after you open the door and I wanted to do that that way because the whole point of that this was to get into the pool pump and um, it's kind of hard to reach down and flip switches and stuff that are across the the box. So if there's a board in the way, so I just did went ahead and did that. And you know they're they're all custom to what you want to do. Um, it's not an, it's not a hard project at all.
I just wanted to show this part because, um, for one, it's kind of entertaining, and for two, the sandpaper that I'm using is just a really coarse grit sandpaper. It doesn't need a fine grit because this wood's really soft, um, and that was just a tip that
Alright, so this point I took a break from filming and um, I actually have the build complete, completed already. Um, and this is just some in between stages before I got the, uh, um, the all the planks on. And um, I'm in this next part of the video it's going to explain it really well. But I want to stress that if you have any questions, please ask. Back with the finished build. This is what it looks like when it's all done and closed up. Not too bad, I don't think. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, thing is pretty damn stable too. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for anything better with this design. But I would like to um, just say that I didn't want to go through the entire build process with you guys because it would have been uh, a hell of a long video, uh, to say the least. But uh, I do want to go back and show you the finished product, and I wanted to kind of run over some quick things. And I also want to stress to you that this is here. And I'm putting this on uh, air for you guys to um, ask me questions about it. Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. And um, if you have any questions on how to, on, you know, building your own, it'd be great. Because I haven't seen too many videos online on how to build a box for a pool um, pump or filter cover uh, yet. I mean, there's a couple, but they're kind of spotty and... Um, I, I kind of understand now. It's it's since it's so, um, it's such a custom build for that simply because I had to leave the back off of it, and um, also the measurements are going to be different for every um, pool cover. Um, I've looked at two different pool filters. Some people want this, and you know there's an, there's a demand for them. People want them because you know, honestly, pool filters um, and the pumps and stuff are not only loud but they're kind of ugly. Um, so people want them covered and um, to cut the noise and to cut the the ugliness factor about down a little bit. Um, but they're all going to be custom, like I said, and um, you really can't get away from that. But these are just the whole thing is prime. Everything you see on the outside is um, or that it's going to be exposed to the elements is uh, a western red cedar picket fence, and they range. They're supposed to be six inches on top, but they're about five and a half, and um, I think they're supposed to be a quarter inch, and they're, so they're the thin picket fence, and um, they're eight foot, no, my bad, six foot long boards. So the six foot, and they run around two sixty, two dollars and sixty cents, two fifty five, I think, so um, they, so I have cut out right there my um like i was saying the cost of this um the boards alone i think i spent probably a hundred dollars on just the pickets the the uh planks here that i was using them for and the the rest of the wood probably ran me around another forty dollars fifty dollars so i'm invested about a hundred and fifty or sixty dollars for the whole project maybe maybe seventy hundred seventy dollars I did I did waste a little bit trying to get this done and I'd like to uh stress the importance of like everyone says uh measure twice cut once but you know you can measure it 100 times and then cut it and it's going to be wrong because there's something you didn't anticipate about 3 steps ahead and you have to now take that board out and uh redo the half the wall but that's just me ranting but I'd like to show you the highlights like I said just to kind of keep it short um, first off, this hinge, this lid hinge design that I have, um, I was going to use hinges, and I did use some hinges on this project for the door on the front. Um, my original plan was to do a sliding door where I, when I open this top lid here, you can slide a piece out, just kind of like a pocketed slide. But that actually ended up being a little bit more difficult than just, um, Installing, especially with these slatted walls here, uh, they um, the design ended up being just a little bit too difficult for that. My bad, I'm trying to hold my camera here and pick the lid up. That's what it looks like opened up. Now I'm going to show you the uh, the design I had for the um, for the lid. Now the lid is actually a really simple design and. and um, I sat here scratching my head over it and I was thinking the hinges would be a good idea but I'd have to make a weird cut with this design. The way I have these boards is, is I ran a, um, there, that was a custom cut angle there, it wasn't, it's just, I just kind of uh, marked it off 
cut it a couple times until it fit and then I cut the other side the same and you can see they're both cut at a weird angle and um, then that board across the back is just straight that way it makes a, a box but it has this weird um, or it has this slant this is the first time I've ever done a, a box with a slant so it was kind of a trial and error project for me and I'd like to and I just want to give you guys a visual on what I did and it turned out pretty well so it's gonna it's gonna adjust about a hundred different ways until we can get it to work I'm inside the box now to try to tell you there we go you can kinda get an idea of that alright now I wanted to show you this this hinged idea back here this is the best way for, I can, for me to show it to you it just it's just a board it's just one of these two by two by twos boards and I picked those up at Home Depot and or I think they have them at Lowe's too. They're just they're weatherized um, two by two boards, and uh, I tried to pick up the lightest and straightest ones I could find. But what I did, let me see if I can find that little metal strip. I have that piece now, and it's just a um, just a well, the camera focus. It's just a um, threaded bolt, or it's just a threaded rod, really. And um, I'm sure, there's a name for them at the store, but I just picked a, I just picked one of these up, and um, this is an end piece, so it, the ones that I ended up working with are a little bit longer. Let me come right here to that side again. As you can see, I've got a I've got a nut on there, and um, I just haven't had this one laying around. I threw it on the end there, um, but this is what I did. I just took and drilled a hole that was a little bit smaller than this. Basically to where the threads would stick out, but the bolt mostly would fit in there without splitting the wood And I just ran that in there, and I ran it out a little bit And I uh, just drilled that whole thing through there And um, whenever I got done, I just I just uh, ran that rod Ran that rod in there, and then um, threw a bolt on the end of it And that was that, and the lid actually shut And it shuts and opens rather well. I'm going to give you one more look at it because it's it's just kind of um, it's just really simple the way I did it and it hinges and opens and closes and whatever it needs to do and I didn't have to use any more hinges um, the hinges tend to probably rust away anyways those bolts are not exposed to the weather at all so they should never um, should never weather away and um, they should work for a long time, especially since this is going to be outdoors all the time. I got this door here. And I wanted to show you this door. Now, um, again, I used, I don't know if I showed you this yet, but the, um, these Everbuilt narrow utility hinges. Uh, these are three inches. Um, they're just a simple zinc plated hinge. And, um, I just used the, the screws that came in the package with it, and um, they really just work. They really work great. There's um, you could probably find something some that look a little better than this, but I had these laying around and needed to use them. Uh, but yeah, it's just real simple. I got two on there. Um, I could add a third one if I wanted to, but I'm probably not going to. There's the nail that I hang the. Um, door uh, the hinge right up with all right here's me at the um, install I just I got it installed and um, this is about a day later I just got done with the um, I decided to do uh, the Thompson's water sealer uh, weatherproofer and it actually looks really nice and this is actually it's supposed to stay 48 hours dry and just let it dry but we had a huge rainstorm <clears throat> we got uh, well apparently we got record high uh, rain and about six inches um, within the span of a like few hours so we had flooding all across town so this actually held up with only probably eight to 12 hours of uh, dry time so it, I'm really impressed but I wanted to show you the box and how it looks and also to show you the, how I uh, fixed the door um, the ground wasn't entirely level so I had to put a turn bolt on the door um, and that ran around seven dollars you can get those at any home uh, improvement store so yeah